Aunt Jemima has been the name and face of a pancake mix and syrup for more than 130 years, but no longer. The Aunt Jemima brand will retire the image, acknowledging its racist past. The major shift for a brand dating back more than 130 years, the chief marketing officer of Pepsi's Quaker Foods North America unit said, quote, we recognize Aunt Jemima's origins are based on a racial stereotype and will do away with the name as well as the imagery of the black woman on the packaging and marketing beginning in the fourth quarter. A new name will be announced at a later date. It's time to let go of symbols like this because of how weighted they are and what they represent. Cornell University's Dr. Rache Richardson recently wrote a New York Times article. Can we please finally get rid of Aunt Jemima? Children, you know, going with their parents to the grocery store can still see images, this retrograde image of black womanhood on store shelves. No one would want to get an Aunt Jemima award. You can't give a, a scholarship in the name of Aunt Jemima. You could give a scholarship in the name of Mr. Mrs. Buttersworth and it would have more value because there's not a single black girl in America wants to be called Aunt Jemima. A lot of these symbols that you know, for some people are triggering and and represent terror and abuse. On Monday, Quaker Oats parent company Pepsi announced a $400 million set of initiatives over five years to lift up black communities and increase black representation at Pepsi. It's a positive step when we can get rid of imagery and stereotype uh, imagery that plays on stereotypes that have roots in hatred. Um, it means that PepsiCo is listening to the country. The owner of Uncle Ben says it's planning to uh, change the rice maker's brand identity, citing its, quote, responsibility to take a stand in helping to put an end to racial biases and injustices. This follows a, a similar decision by Quaker Oats to retire Aunt Jemima from packaging on its brand of syrup and pancake mixes. Another iconic food product using racial tropes, Uncle Ben's, will also disappear. Its owner, the Mars Company, announced that it plans to evolve, that's a quote, that's the word they used, the Food Lines brand and, quote, visual identity. Better late than never. What You know, we don't know what either of these products are going to look like going forward, but what we can, I think, be assured is that they will look very different. The hope now is where businesses are leading with these symbolic gestures, politicians will follow to make real change. We hope, John. In related news, ConAgra Brands also announcing today that it is conducting a review of the branding and packaging of Mrs. Butterworth due to racist stereotype origins. If there were more people of color, if there were more black Americans in some of the decision-making ranks at companies like this that have to deal with consumer products, we would not still be in many of these situations. It's never a wrong time to do what's right. So I congratulate all those companies and those institutions for taking a step forward to say this is wrong and we need to fix it. Um, but it is a it is a Band-Aid on a, on a, it's a, of the symptom. And we do have to get down to the root of what caused um, a need for these symbols to be prevalent in today's time in the first place.